How's it going everyone, my name is Necro and welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Hope you enjoy. I need the small council, you fool. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Thank you. Boats and hoes. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. That shame losing. The choice uh, Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Oh, God damn it. Uh, oh, hello. Okay, Roiland, here you go. Sir Roiland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? Oh, he's already he's we already need to coming. Prepare for the worst. Uh, don't panic. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He was rubbing it in already. It cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your Sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it in the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. I Gentlemen, think we need to take please. both. Thank the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. May we unify. all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Bargain is diplomacy. Ah, oh, I want to use both fight and diplomacy. Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Shut the fuck up. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, 
Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsey's arrival. Yeah. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsey Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? That sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> Make him wait at the gate. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. But Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You You're likely to get bastard. us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. You stupid bugger. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. What? Well, there has to be more planning than that. We meet at the gates, and... My lord, Bucket. you have named your I'll sentinel, do. but you still seem conflicted. <laughs> And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. But there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He likes killing. We always killing. protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Oh, no. Of course, your father was furious. How's he going to eat but bread? But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. Go and get him. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. He's like, I I'm don't want to go. Let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Lady Marjorie's Chambers. What's that? Trail Family Seal. Strange key. Hmm. Ah, uh, examine. Anything else? Hop, top, top. No. Okay. 
Press B to back. Okay, I'll back out. I don't want to pick anything up. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Nera, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. Fuck you. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thank you, Sarah. But I have to do this myself. If you feel that way. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know but I will you're be a bit. here for you if you ever Die doesn't lady. look good. I'll leave you to talk. What happened? Are you all right, my lady? Oh, Jesus. <gasps> the king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. Ooh -hoo. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. Oh, come on. <laughs> I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. It was my mother. It was her. It was her. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I promise. I promise. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry. You have to get lady. your tits out and get your pussy wet in order to get anywhere. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Milady. It's the Begging call boy. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems mm. can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. That was a guard. Cold boy does not like guards. Duncan. Now fuck him if he's angry. No. I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. But the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Here we go. Uh. Oh, is that is that bad? Sir, 
something wrong with your gate? No. Oh, I'm just making him more angry. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. No. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, man? The Lord of the House says, Hock off. Yes. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. For now. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Uh oh. What is he doing? He certainly has a lot of ego about him. Right, we have to stay tough. Stay tough, kid. Come on. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Come, boy. Force him to focus on the business at hand. You want a fealty? What do you want? What oh, is it you oh, want, close. Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. Oh, let's, let's just do it. Keep my happy. lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now. Was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Fuck. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. No. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. You can't they trust a forester. It was a forester's wife who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. Uh oh. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Uh oh. The White Hills will be taking control of your no. army from this day forward. What? What? 
The Ironwood. But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The true we have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next 50 generations. The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. Mm, to ensure that's a little there's no better. trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your wood. Oh, fuck. At Ironrath... That we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Technically it would. You have a man you trust? My son. Griff. 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 We'll lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this little forester. Oh no. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. Ah. You'll be my highborn ward. <gasps> lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. Fuck you. <laughs> I suppose you can stay. Good. Aren't you the bold lord? Aren't you an <laughs> asshole? Oh, oh my god! No! What fucking happened? No. Oh, too much trouble. Oh, shit. My lord! Oh, no! Even though you did bend the knee. Oh, fuck. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. What an absolute cunt. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Take the boy as your ward. No. Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Uh, Brian. Uh, Holy fuck, man. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace, sir, quickly! You brought this on yourself. Please. Stop! Don't let him take me! Holy fuck, you man. You will not take Stop him! No, please! Ryan, please! No! no. 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 Ryan! Do something! Ethan? <laughs> Well, shit on a stick. <laughs> oh my god. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. 
nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Right. Uh, episode one from Iron with Ice. Iron from Ice, rather. 66% stay with Bowen. 62 Sword Loyalty. 35 sent Eric to the wall. 30% picked Roydent. That's interesting. You and 50% met Ramsey at the gate. Error. Right, to be honest, that's convinced me now. I'm just gonna fucking stick to my guns from now on. We're just gonna be a right cunt. We fucking. If we want something, we're fucking getting it no matter what. I did not see that coming. I really didn't. Well, we're going to leave it here, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like. And I'll see you for episode 2 of Game of Thrones.